Hi there. Today I will repair this Keithley model 2001 multimeter, which I already found the problem before, and now I got some replacement parts. So I'll put the new parts in and we'll see if it works. To show you what it's doing now, I'll fire it on and show you in a moment. So meter working looks like working fine, but if you you can see the AC voltage, there is just overflow on the highest range and all the other ranges as well. And current is reporting 100 microamps, but there is nothing connected. Here is the current wire which go into this connector. And ACI doesn't work as well. But the resistance measurements and DC voltage measurements working fine. So I can run self-test and show you what's going on. And here we go. 400 serious errors, many of them, almost every single one. And I found that U520, this is LT1223 current amplifier, have a problem. So actually in this meter I already removed the bad part. And now we'll install the new one in and check if it fixes the problem. And here is the location U520 of the suspect I see. The problem with it was that it was driving floating power way outside of the normal range and causing all these issues. So I also replaced this Zener diet which was not so well to a new one and here are the new part LT1223 I also had replaced 1050 op amp U525 with 1150, which should be just fine. Because that op amp was, was broken on another meter with similar 400 series error codes and symptoms. Okay, all pins solder it. Let me clean flux and we're ready to go. Uh-oh. 
the issue is still there. All the same errors. Just I'm trying to show with the light that you should see a small bulge on this 545. Let me play with the light. Oh, see, it's barely visible, but it's there. I think this is our suspect. So let me replace it. This is just generic MMBT3904. Oh yeah, I can smell the magic smoke escape. Here is the new oil solder BC847. Another jelly bean transistor. I think that's it. Nice and clean.